Hey, I'm Dominic from Downfall of Gaia and this is Evil Greed Distropix. So first record I picked is the new one from Cult of Luna. Um, I know for some people it's somewhere along the highway, probably their best release today, but I think this one isn't even any worse. <laughs> it's, I don't know, maybe it's just because I listened to the record that many times to somewhere along the highway. So I think right now I would say that this one is even, even better, super atmospheric. Great stuff, great work, love it. Yeah, next record I chose is Choir Boy. Um, to be honest, I didn't really listen to the whole record that much, but the first song is just amazing. So I listened to this one. It's called Two Lips, over and over again, and uh, if you're in the mood for some, I don't know, synth, pop, rock, whatever, then this is definitely a great record to listen to. Another record I would like to recommend is uh, Black Table. It's uh, the band from Mike, our drummer. We met in 2013 when we were touring the States together. Dove Love Gaia and uh, Black Table, that's how we met Mike. And this is the uh, newest recent release from those guys. It's yeah, experimental black metal progressive stuff, so if you're into that, yeah, give it a listen and uh, check them out. It's great. Fall of Afrofa, Osler. This is a classic. Um, some people are familiar with the fact that uh, Darth of Gaia is from the from the DIY hardcore punk crust scene. So this record is somehow a classic. Um, it's, I don't know, the, the how many times they reprinted it, but it's, it's, it's not the first press. I don't know which year it came out, but back in the days, uh, these guys were huge and uh, the, one of the yeah, biggest and most inspiring bands in the uh, uh, neo crust times, so... Um, this is a really, really great record to listen to if you're into melancholic, crusty stuff with a, with a, with a cello also. So yeah. Der Weg einer Freiheit. Super good friends. Um, we toured multiple times together, and um, yeah, it's just uh, I would say this is this is uh, by far their best work today, to date. And um, yeah, I listened to this record multiple times in a row. I really love it. Um, I still remember train rides listening to this record. I don't know. It somehow gives me a good feeling. Is the wrong word, but it's it's good modern black metal. I don't 
don't know how to pronounce the name of this band. Mum, Mum, I don't know. They're from Scandinavia. Um, also here, same, same like with Choir Boy. I didn't really listen to the whole record because I'm not that much into every song of it, but there's just this one song. Um, it's called uh, The Ballad of the Broken Bird Birdie. Yeah, The Ballad of the Broken Birdie. I had those names. Um, and this is a really super touching, emotional, heart-wrecking song. It's, uh, I, I listened to it the first time when I was watching Until the Light Takes Us, a black metal documentary from I don't know when, and this song was featured in it and this is really, check it out, it's a really good, good song. Dread Majesty, um, not much to tell. I don't like the new record that much, <laughs> to be honest. So I chose this one, by far their best work, I would say. But there's one good song on the new one, it's called Epilepsis, something like that. Yeah. Last but not least, uh, of course, Neu Roses. Um, even if I don't listen that much anymore to the band, um, they had a huge impact on how we do sound and the path we took and stuff like that. Um, huge inspiration, huge band and uh, The Eye of Every Storm, my favorite record from Neu Roses. And, uh, yeah, I still remember playing with them in 2014. That was super weird because we were totally into them. And um, then you were sitting in the same room having catering with Steve Until and Scott Kelly and stuff like that. So we were super shy kids and that was, yeah, weird but great. So no roses, the eye of every storm. <laughs> 